petition. Now Johnson, quick little toe poke was clever, good vision. One way traffic at the Gabba when the dogs met the Lions in round 12, a good start and a solid night's work saw the visitors kick 13 goals in the first half to open a match winning lead. Again, the work rate of Brad Johnson was sensational, while Scott West picked up 36 possessions. Another knee injury, this time ending Mitch Hahn's season. McDonald and that affected the kick. Cross, he knew Voss was there, but he got it away, and it may well have created a goal, and it's West with his seventh possession. Cross, Johnson won out with Pat Full. Edged him nicely, Grant, magnificent back to Johnson, the old stages. Well beaten in that area. West. Well done by Johnson, stayed down to allow Montgomery and now Boyd an opportunity oh, to capitalise despite the efforts of Fixter. He's got a prototype. The Adelaide's play a bit like it and you'd have to say the Eagles do. Well Johnson's taken on his opponent, ran into trouble, forced on the left, kicks into the goal square, Grant's got the sit, can't take the mark, Hahn kicks the goal. West is setting it up, here comes Hahn, always hitting the contest hard and he's actually hurt himself. Hurt his knee. Yeah, oh. badly. Someone stop play. Knock it out, guys. Knock it out. He is in real oh, trouble. Hardy, who's himself got a great turn of speed. And he's turned it over. Backing himself and attacking it was Morris. Great stuff. Receives again. A long driving kick inside 50. Johnson had to beat a couple, couldn't. Fall of the ball. Here's a chance for Hargrave. Yes. Johnson, Montgomery surrounded by Lions, he sees Cooney, clear on the 50, time for Cooney, we know he's a highly skilled player, and it's on display for all to see. A few minutes since the break, he's kicked three goals for the night, doesn't have to do it there, Robbins, breaking the Copeland shackles, off to Brad Johnson for his favourite pocket, <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah, hope he's as good as him, Bulldogs will be... Static to full forward Grant just lost his feet. Here's Johnson, he's got five, and now he's got half a dozen. Thrust the Bulldogs into attack again. Boyd yes. wades his way through the traffic. Higgins can't from the side. Oh, ordinary collision leaves Charman down, and while he's down, Harris with a fly. McGrath, Gilby. And the run starts again for the Dogs. The grass hurt himself. Oh, I really might have done a bad hamstring. Here it is through the middle, opening up for Griffin. To the left, to the right. Sold it beautifully. And slides it through. Oh, but they think it should go. And, and there hasn't been a team, as we watch this all unfold here, Bulldogs going forward again, that no one's got down to less than 22 at the moment, so... Now, whistle here. You know, if you need a ruckman, if you, if you lose your three ruckman or someone's playing well enough. Anyway, it's through for a goal. To be honest, seven and five would have been would have been very good for us. So even six and six, probably coming in at the end because we've only got. I think out of the Melbourne clubs, we've got the most interstate trips, and we've only got two left now. Um, so so we go over next game, which is West Coast in Perth. You know, the last nine, I got one interstate. So. We, we always thought if we could be about even about now, six and six, with the run home as far as, as, far as playing at home, uh, we, we think we come with a surge. Six to Brad Johnson and the three Brownlow votes to Scotty West in a commanding 42-point win.